Don't forget to subscribe. Also click on the bell for notifications. Hello, this is Jessica from Lonely Marie Creations coming to you with a SWF MAS 12 setup. I am going to be putting in the thread holder, putting in the LCD monitor onto its case as well as connecting it, threading this machine and as well as fixing this um, bar that the screw broke and to um, connecting the components for this to get um, to turn on. All right, here's the video also updated it to add the the positions of the spools the correct way as well as which needles you need and a few other stuff i tighten them up more since i do have a cement on there and dogs so. okay so bringing it down through the steps uh, from the house to the garage um it hit the wall because the table of my daughter's was in the way so I ended up breaking the screw on the left so I'll be replacing that too on this video with one of the screws that was available for another reason so hold on part I didn't show is when I put these feet together the rubbers um, they were they had to be screwed on um, I needed help for this um, to put one by one um, I needed help lifting it so somebody can um, screw it on This is a spool holder. The bottom part is the one that's gonna to go to the front. The It has more um, spools to hold in the front. And then the smaller amount is on the back. I did put this on first, but I had to redo it because it needed the mounts first before putting it on. So hold on. Just a quick glimpse. On the bottom, it has four holes in the middle center. These are the holes that you're gonna to need to when you're ready to uh, mount this onto the machine uh, it's under the rubber so you need to remove the rubber when you're placing this onto the machine not sure if these are okay so these mounts right here are the ones you're going to want to do first prior to you mounting this onto the machine okay so the two plastics will be going to the left and the right and then on the front will be the metal metal one. Um, you want to put these on right now, uh, prior to you putting it on the machine. It might be a little bit difficult when you see these on when I'm doing this because I did it the opposite way, but the front um, screws, they need to be put on from the bottom and you cannot do it while it's screwed onto the machine. Once the bars are mounted, then you're gonna connect it to this thread holder. Um, these are the ones that you are gonna string along to, um, there's some guides there to see which one goes first, second, third, uh, and so on. Here's another visual of the three bars. And um, these are the three bars that would be going onto the spool holder um, to um, get it mounted. These go to the front and these go on the side of this. Okay, prior to that, I am gonna be putting that in the LCD monitor onto its case. Um, I'm gonna do step by step. I realized I didn't add this on to the previous edited video. So, hold on. First things first, um, I'm using the screwdriver that came with the machine and it's just the four screws that need to be removed and that's it.
And now I'm going to be aligning this onto its case, the LCD monitor, and then screwing it back on to secure it. Okay, so this wire is gonna go on the bar, the one that's um, gonna be holding this case for the LCD monitor. That's mounted on there. Alright, before I put this on, I found the screws. Okay. So I need to put this up. So I'm counting how many screws are here. There's two. Two on the left side and then two on the right side so i already got i got six here and then plus um i got to mount the bottom of this to the machine so there's four so i've got four of these so these go there so then i got these four here so there is one two three one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight of these. So those. Okay, so next you're gonna to wanna to put all the bars before you put it onto the machine and screw it on. Right here I had to edit it, so I'll be showing you how to put the bars on. Right after this, um, I just had to um, take this off the machine. So right here, you're going to be mounting the two screws onto the bars, um, two on each, and it's underneath this spool holder. This one's easier on this side. This needs to go first. While I'm down here, I'm going to tighten up these ones right here. Right. And then 
Oh no, I don't need that yet. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it did for me. Right here, you're gonna be mounting on that spool holder onto the machine and it's screwing just those four screws onto here and then placing the rubber um, on after. Now you're gonna put the rubber mat right here back on. Now you're gonna be using the screws to mount on the thread holder onto the bars and you need an Allen wrench for it, a small one. Okay, so you're gonna be screwing it onto these two um, holes right here. That's going to go to the front of the machine and then the two side ones. So earlier I mentioned that there was only three metal screws. There's actually four. Uh, you're going to use two on the front and one on each side to mount the bar. I'm going to just use this to tighten it up. Don't use the power tool. All right. So it takes a, a like a round head. Let's see what this number is. Seven slash six four. to the side so why didn't they give me the right one okay you need a larger allen wrench which wasn't provided on the machine uh, i'm using my power tool uh, very slowly i do have some allen wrenches that i found right after i uh, put this on I'm gonna just tighten it up a little bit, not too much. All right. 
Next task for me is fixing that screw that got stuck on there, so I'm replacing that. The, the top broke off, so uh, they hit it to the wall. Luckily, it was just only this, nothing else. <laughs> but okay, but no biggie. I'm taking this out. I was able to take the, the, the nut part out, so exposing the screw. So right now I'm doing lefty. Got it. So came off. I gotta see which As you can see, getting this delivery, unboxing, getting the stand together and putting this machine together, it is a messy little job. Just keep that one there. And this one. So next task is threading the machine. This machine's already pre-threaded. The only thing is I need to add is the plastic little pieces that go above this and adding in all my spools and then including threading the needles for this. This one you're gonna have to wait until after you put all your threads in and tying in the string because if not, you're gonna have to re-thread every single needle and there's 12. I did it, I don't recommend it. Okay, right now I am unwinding all the thread that's on here and it's uh, easy to get to maneuver around these. So they're all combined together and these are all the bottom threads. So I'm gonna just let them hang on the bottom. Okay, I'll be making more content and add some videos. I had already used this machine already and you get, you're supposed to use a certain type of needle. So I'll be adding that on there as the well hairs. as a position to use it on the machine. So um, look for the video. Next, I'll be unwinding the top area threads that are loose. There's enough thread in there. So um, it's easy to not get it unwinded throughout the machine. So after this, I am going to be putting in the plastic pieces before adding them in onto the thread holders. Here I used a needle to add in the thread into these plastics. I did try to do it without it and you'll see what happens. You can also try to um, see what other thing can help you put in the thread in each of these. This. Let's see, stick it in. Sometimes you gotta work overtime at your work. See, I was gonna stop working in here at three. And it needs like a little, see if I can do a little weight thing. All right, so I'm gonna try a needle. Be careful. I got this one. <laughs> that was easy. One down. You're planning on changing it to ballpoint for these machines. Um, make sure that they're a round shank, not a flat shank on there. 
7511 uh, as well as put it in a certain position. I'll link a little picture of it that I got from the USB. Okay, this is the position of the needles that you need to have it on. The curvature goes to the backside of the machine. I replaced all my needles, um, finally got some generic type um, round shank. These are around the top part of these. Uh, my brothers and my brunette used the flat shank uh, ones. So it took me a few days to get my ball point. But to get the organ ones, um, uh, I got a hundred pack, but I don't get it, get it till the end of the month. So I'm waiting on that. I'm adding this onto this introduction. So that way, that way you can still get prepared to order your guys's um, ballpoint needles if you don't have that round shake and again position is everything i am going to show you a picture of the um, embroidery i did so on this one last night it took me five hours to finally give up wait until today check my usb and i had my all my needles backwards so it kept on shredding on me so uh, hopefully this will help you This I had a hard time because I was afraid of breaking these little plastics, but um, I'm going to be showing you how to put the top part. The bottom one, I did forward it on here, but I'm going to show you on the second one how I was able to put it onto the top and bottom. You just have to be patient. All right, you wrap it on top. Okay, so... You gotta get that plastic around, but it will go on around these. So I'm gonna just do the rest and I'll get back. Okay, here I'm gonna show you from the start to finish to put that second one on. Right now I'm gonna thread in the second plastic. Also, I don't really care, but thread. doing this DIY, I, I ended up breaking some needles. nails on the way. The hand sewing ones. And just It went in. All right, and then I'm gonna thread it in the second one. All right, now that I showed you the complete, that I was able to put this one on. Just tighten it up, tighten it up. I'm gonna finish it up, so I'll be back. So I was able to complete these up. These are really tight, so um, you gotta really maneuver it to get into these. So, and it's really easy, because the string, the string that comes out here, it just goes straight up, just you continue, and there's 12 of them. Okay, so positioning of the threads. I had to re-upload this again, so the position for here, so you won't get tangles because I was getting a lot of tangles. Also, I took off the rubber for myself because a few of my threads were getting caught on the bottom. So number one, position one, it's in the front here. So you just shoot it down. Position two is the black. So you're gonna go run it to the middle here. Position three, you run it all the way to the back 
um, I had mine all crazy, so it kept on getting tangled. So follow the positions. Position four is actually right here on the bottom. Brown is position five, so you run it to the center. Position six, you run it all the way to the back. Uh, position seven, it's down here, and that's my hot pink. Position eight is runs um, to the center, to the neon, and lavender is all the way to the end. That's position nine. So you run it to the hole there and the hole there. Ten is all the way to the front, and then that's my like my mint. And position eleven is that that center one right there. And then position 12 is all the way in the front. So you just follow there. So you wanna keep it at these positions. Um, don't follow, um, not looking at the USB or, or anything. So for me, thinking that this went all the way over there, all the way over there, just by eyeing it, just go diagonally. So it goes curvature, curve, 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 all the way to number 12 is in the front. So no tangles. Again, I'm not using the rubber for myself since it gets caught in the bottom try the netting and it made it worse so all right hope this helps once that's done then you're going to want to thread every white piece on here next uh, before you pull all your threads down and then do the next step okay so next step you're going to put it on the hook and then put it into the needle Grab it. All right. There we go. <sighs> Emily. What? Give me my scissors. I need some scissors, so just in case. What scissors? Any scissors? Oh shoot! No. All right. Okay, you're gonna need the scissors to clip the ends, and then you need some tweezers to pull it through. It'll be a lot easier. All right. All right. So I just self thread. So I'm gonna get some scissors so that way if there's any frayed edges. Just um, save yourself some time. And then from there, you just have to follow the guide. Which is self taught. Okay, so once you're done threading every single one of them, you want to make sure to pull these up onto the little spring thing and it'll hold it up so that way when you're running the machine it does not get stuck underneath the stitches so learn that today so and today is July 8 2021 so I um, hope this helps you right here another tip added to this uh, machine setup Okay, I still gotta check if the USB um, goes back here, but I was able to download the information onto my computer. The only thing is for the USB, you need it to open up the programming onto your computer. Um, I try to do that at work, but I wasn't able to open up any of the files. Earlier when I mounted it, I already connected the monitor onto the bar. Now there's three other um, wires that are inside of a plastic, you need to cut it open. The smaller wire, in, the smaller black one goes on the bottom area you connected. There's an ethernet type uh, connector. You put it where the red arrow is in the center of the mount. And then the larger black one goes on the left side of the monitor on the top area. And once you connect these, put in the this power right here, strip it's on the back on the left of the machine and the just turn it on and then the screen will turn on oops i think i got it sideways let me see well it goes there I'm 
Okay, and another tip for some people that have gotten their machine, this emergency button was engaged, so it didn't allow the monitor, monitor to turn on. So uh, what you need to do is um, unengage un it. Right now I don't have my machine on, but um, see if that will help you if you can get the monitor on. Also make sure all the four plugs in the back are connected. Okay, so after plugging those in in the back, the screen came up. And that's it for this video. This is Jessica from Lovely Recreations. Till next creation.